Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming international friendly between Croatia and Slovenia. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please take a moment and do that right now. It really does help and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This match is going to be played in Qatar, the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha. The stadium does feature on the virtual red patch that I use, so we have it for you here on the preview. Here is a look at the Khalifa International Stadium, Doha, Qatar. Come on, it's Jan Oblak. Lead their sides out. We've got rain in Qatar. It's a bit unusual. Players take the rainy pitch in Qatar. Let's take another look around the Khalifa International Stadium before we pause for the national anthem. Kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Croatia, they line up in a 4-3-3. Ivan Perisic, Ante Rebic, and Andre Kramaric in the front three. Kovacic and Luka Madrić in central midfield. Brozovic, the holding midfielder. A strong back four for Croatia. For Slovenia, they're in a 4-4-2. Lovic and Kovacic. The strength pair the man to watch is Josip Ilicic of Atalanta. Right in. Yano Block and Net of Atletico Madrid. We're using an AFC ball since we are in an AFC venue here. We are underway from Doha, Qatar. A rainy Doha, Qatar. I can most assure it will not rain. But for the sake of this preview, what the heck? We'll have a, a rainy uh, desert climate. These two sides will certainly be no strangers to playing in the rain. So these two, as well as Qatar and Bulgaria, having a little, not a full round robin, but each playing their two friendlies over this break in Doha. Check out the Qatar versus Bulgaria preview after this, if you haven't already. Bilicic of Atalanta on the move. Ian Jano block. The players to watch for Slovenia. Croatia. Runners up in the last iteration of the World Cup in 2018. A few familiar faces have left since then. Ivan Rakitic and Mario Mandzukic most notably, but a lot of players still remain from that squad. Ante Rebic, facing the line. He's denied by Jan Oblak. For my money, I would put him as the top keeper in the world. That is certainly arguable. And Pendanovic, also Slovenian from Inter Milan. I mean, how much depth can you have at one position? <laughs> Does any country have more depth at any position than Slovenia does a goalkeeper? My goodness. Perisic! No, that was Kovacic, mistake. The Chelsea midfielder. Pretty 
good look there, but John Oblock, a hard man to beat. to Char and Vita. Recover. Take a look at our halftime stats as Versalco leads everyone into the locker room. Croatia definitely had the better of things in the first half. But no score, so anything can happen.
He's taken down. No call, says the referee. 80th minute now. Slovenia on the move. Croatia have it back. Luka Modric. Again, dispossessed. Croatia have it back. Luka Modric! Saved by Oblak. Yano Block of Athletic of Madrid. They are certainly very good. Bohar in behind. Big save. Just a couple of minutes of stoppage time remaining here for Croatia. Misses it. That might be the last chance for Croatia. It is Slovenia with the upset. 1-0. Kurtic. Going to take her man of the match on this for his goal. Luka Modric looks a little mystified, as am I. Upsets happen. Let's take a look at our highlights. Ante Rebic in the 25th minute. One save for Oblak. I feel like Oblak might have uh, deserved a shout for man of the match here. I don't know how many saves he had. We're going to count them here. That was one. 42nd minute. Vukic off the mark. 56th minute. Ilicic. He also had a lot to do with the victory today. Boy, as we watch these, all the attempts seem to be for Slovenia. Maybe I'm <laughs> not remembering this right. I feel like I uh, saw a few good Oblock saves in there. 59th minute, Ilicic to Kurtic. Goal for Slovenia. Shots are from Slovenia here. Where's all the Oblock saves? <laughs> Tries to flick that one back. No dice. He gets another shot on the header here over the bar. Luka Modric in the 85th minute. He has a look here. Oblock saves this one easily. Bohar in the 90th minute. He gets behind the defense. Another save. Maybe Livakovic should get a shade of all the saves. Anyway, that's it for this one. Four saves from Oblak. And Slovenia with a 1-0 upset in Qatar. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do that right now. It really helps get exposure. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.